She was six years old. I was ministering. I forget what I was ministering. And I said, okay, we're going to pray for the sick. Before I went to pray for the sick, I said, I turned to the pastor. I said, where's Rhoda? She was outside playing. Wasn't in the service. I don't know what the kids were doing out there. I said, call her. He called his daughter in. While she was coming in, she comes like skipping down the aisle, you know, like a six-year-old would come skipping in. I turned to the pastor. I said, is she saved? He said, no. I said, Rhoda, I said, do you believe Jesus died for your sins? Do you believe he's risen from the dead? She said, yes. I said, would you, would you like to invite Jesus to come into your heart and be your Lord and save you? She said, yes, I'd like to do that. I mean, I don't know what she was thinking before I called her in there. But outside playing, what are, what are friends, what are sisters, what are the kids out there? Wasn't even in the service. I said, okay, pray this with me. God, I believe in my heart. Jesus died for my sins. I believe he's risen from the dead. She prayed the prayer. She said, you believe that? I said, yeah. I said, now say this. I'm saved. I'm a Christian. Jesus my Lord. She said that. I said, okay, who needs to be healed? She starts to run away. I said, no, no, come here. She starts to go back outside the place. I said, no, come here. I said, who needs to be healed? So these people came up. They thought I was going to pray for them. I said, no, this little girl's going to pray for you. Now, this little girl is six years old. She just got saved. She doesn't know the Bible. Now, again, I taught you all this stuff about renewing the mind and all that stuff. But I'm telling you, while that's all happening, you can still minister in the power of God because it's by grace. Amen. This little girl doesn't know the Bible. I don't even know if she could read. Six years old in Liberia, I don't even know if they go to school. So I said, okay, four people came up. I forget what problems that they had. I mean, they weren't laying on cots and stuff, but they all had sickness, vertigo, pain, back pain, whatever. Need healing. And I said, okay. And I, she didn't even know what to do. I said, okay, put your hand on them. She put her hand. I said, say this in the name of Jesus. She said, in the name, name of Jesus. I said, pain, go. She said, pain, go. Be healed. She said, be healed. I said, okay, I'll just leave your hand there for a minute. I said, take it away. Every single one of those people are healed. Why? Because it's by grace. Yes. Amen. Do we want to renew our minds? Do we want to grow up into him? Yeah, the Bible encourages us to do that. Is there a place of maturity that we walk and get to the place where, you know, we are living and walking and speaking and acting just like Jesus? Yes. But while that is happening, I can still operate in the power of God because everything God does, he does by grace. Amen. Amen. You know, it's easier for a child to do that because their minds aren't all tainted with all that stuff. Amen. You tell them, here, you lay your hands on them. They're going to, you know, after that. The ministry to the kids was tremendous the rest of that trip. I mean, the kids all came. They all wanted to get saved. They all wanted to heal the sick. And we turned them loose. And I mean, we saw miracles, not, not through my hands. I mean, you know, when I go and minister, I minister to some people. But for the most part, I'm teaching people what I'm teaching you. That you can do the works of Christ. And for me to turn around and do it would be defeat the purpose of why I came. Amen. And so I proved that what I'm teaching you is true, that it's by grace. This little girl didn't know the Bible. She just, she just got saved 10 seconds, and she was healing the sick. Friends, we can do this. It is God's intention for every single born-again believer to do the works of Christ. And you can start right now, right where you're at. You don't have to wait for anything. Amen. And if you can command you can get this. You, if you can speak to that mountain, you can get this thing done. You just need to be persistent with it. Don't give up with it. Amen? Amen? We can do the works of Christ because Jesus has gone to the Father and because he's given us his name, the power of attorney, to act on his behalf. And say amen. amen. Okay, let's stand. Pablito, can you come and just play a little bit? Just require just a little bit more out of you, man.